Oh my goodness. Oh my. It's more Castaplast. All right, so if you didn't know, Castaplast has retired like three molds, I think. One of them was the Cax Z. And I thought it was a mistake. So um, we've got, I guess, what's gonna be their replacement. It is the Stig, 65 negative two one. I think it has the exact same flight numbers or very similar. And when I held a Cax Z next to this, it looked exactly the same. I think this is supposed to be a tad bit more understable. We will see, but I loved the Cax Z, how it flew. It was just really nice. So when they retired it, I was not happy, even though I don't bag it. What? I thought it was a really great disc. So uh, the Stig has a lot to stand up to, um, but we, will, we shall see. This K1 plastic is really flexy, really nice feeling. It actually is on the verge of being K1 softish, but uh, yeah, we're gonna see. I hope it, hopefully this flies really good. The Cax Z, uh, when I was throwing it, went really far and was insanely straight off of a hyzer flip, and that's what, I really like that, so I hope that's what this can do. But let's go ahead and get into it and throw it. All right, my first throw with the Stig. I'm not warmed up really well. I've thrown one shot so far. I'm going to go hyzer release with this because I heard it's understable. I'm not going too hard. I'm going to aim to the left of this elevated basket over here on my right just in the open area and see what happens off of a hyzer release. Wow. That actually held it, it was pushing. It held the hyzer really well for that power. I was expecting more flip up out of that. So it has more stability. So maybe this is gonna be close to a CAC Z. Um, I did not expect it to actually hold that uh, hyzer. Hmm. Interesting. All right, I'm taking this Stig. I'm hitting it on hyzer at this right side. It's not the hole, uh, but it's just a cool gap. See if I can hit it. Oh my gosh. That was a really nice throw as well. Uh, I did almost the same thing uh, with the Thought Space Mana. Just hit one of those limbs because that was right down the gap. Uh, it was flipping up and was going to have some turn to it. Seems like a good disc. I don't know if it's the Cax Z or not, but similar. Going Stig, Heiser here. I'm going to try to hit it kind of hard and see if I can get a good Heiser flip to turn and in the biggest part of this fairway. Oh, it's going to turn. There's a headwind. Okay. Well, was uh, not the biggest part of the fairway. I thought I was gonna get more turn out of that. I'll probably rethrow that one. All right, this is a take two from that bad uh, throw with this Stig. That thing is just hyzer flip, dead straight. Hmm. It's got a nice flight. I wish I hadn't hit a tree. It's hard out here. Follow a pimp. Okay, I'm gonna take this Stig um, off of this alternate tee here, and I'm gonna try to see if I can get a shot that will just pan to the right for a while. Try not to throw it into the road or my truck. This low ceiling kind of makes it tricky. And I do not have a towel. Stuck. Got a little weird feeling. That's a good pan. Ooh, yeah. So that will hold that line. You get it just right. I wish there was like four less branches there. I could have thrown it really high and got a big ante out of it. But that was the shape I was looking for. Dig. Let's see what you're made of. We're going hyzer flip. We got more room to work with from this tee. It's a long tee of three. Oh, 
Oh, late flip. Oh, baby. That was going far. That was gonna be mid to high 300s, I think. That tree that I hit, like 15 feet up in the air or 20, is I think around 300 feet from this tee. And that thing was zooming. Very similar probably to the Z, but I think there is a little differences there. But that, that was really nice. Take this stig, try to keep it a little low, hit this little gap out through here. Just see if we can get a good flight with it. There's a headwind, so. And you can see the headwind there. Just completely eating it up. That's what's gonna happen with these discs that are a little bit flippier. All right, here we are. Castaplast Stig. 6.5, negative 2.1. Pretty accurate. Um, it's a little touchy at times. Headwind, it is touchy. Um, it's got a dome to it that I'm not the, it's not crazy dome. It's just right here on the shoulder dome that makes discs feel deep that I'm not the biggest fan of. I can't remember if the CAC Z felt like that or not, but I feel like it did, which was one of the reasons I wouldn't bag it. It just wasn't super comfortable in hand, but the flights are nice. This has a good flight. It will turn over. It will hyzer flip to straight. Low power, you can get it to hyzer. Um, as always, the plastic feels really nice. But um, I feel like it's pretty um, similar to the CAC Z. I just don't know why they had to create this and get rid of the CAC Z. So it's kind of confusing because it's not that much of a different disc to me. But give it a try. Cast plastic plastic's always really nice. And uh, feels good. We got one more throw with it. There's the hyzer. So confusing sometimes with discs. That's all we got. Be subscribed, like the video. Now you can go, peace.